statement from you. All right. Meanwhile, Randy Latimer and members Good. of the task Everything force interviewed right. Bobby Joe yeah. Long, who had declined his right to an attorney. I heard when they you out on the street that you got some uh, cuts and stuff on your hands and arms. Did they take care of all that for oh, you? Oh, yeah. Okay. You thirsty? They were well prepared, having consulted the Behavioral I'm Science I'm Unit at the FBI Academy on how to conduct the interview. Detective Price. Um, just where you want to start. The game plan was to start by addressing only Lisa McVeigh. Long confessed immediately. Well, I went down there and uh, talked to my father. After, after he admitted to the rape and abduction of Lisa McVeigh, we talked about uh, why he let her go uh, and, and what went through his mind and what went on. Um, I, I rolled into questioning him about uh, prostitutes. Have you ever picked up any prostitutes? Um, he told me he had in Miami. I asked him about here. Um, and, and he said, well, he might have. Then they began talking to him about the murders. He initially denied it, committing any of the murders. The carpet fiber from the car matches the carpet fiber from the different homicide scenes. Bingo. It's a match. Me at this point. Excuse me. Terry told Latimer the news. Then Latimer explained it to Long. I mean, we just got information. He told him about the fibers and their significance, and about Long's brown head hair found at the crime scene, and the Vogue tire. Latimer let Long know that by the time they found the second body, they were already on his trail. Uh, what can I say? The evidence was overwhelming. And he looked, he looked down, he had, his, he had his legs kind of, his knees spread apart, and he looked down between his feet, and I said, yeah, I did it. I said, did what? He says, I killed him. I killed who? He says, I killed all those girls. All those girls in the paper I killed. Um, and, and then we just started going through them one by one after that. But then it just became more and more, you know. Long described each murder in a taped confession. The interview lasted five and a half hours. Bobby Long showed no emotion, no remorse, uh, it, it was it was just a, an everyday conversation like you and I are having here. Yeah. At the end, uh, I don't remember if it was myself or Bob Price had asked him why he did it, and he said that that was his secret and he was going to take it to the grave with him. During the interview, Long also to confessed to a ninth murder. Go right or go left. Go left. When detectives found her remains, they also found more of the tiny red carpet fibers. The victim was identified through dental records as 21-year-old Vicki Elliott, a waitress. Long also helped identify his sixth victim, whose body had been found on Halloween. 22-year-old Kimberly Hops was known by the street name of Sugar. She was last seen by her boyfriend getting into a maroon Chrysler Cordoba, probably Long's red Dodge Magnum. Members of the press corps Late that night, today. Lieutenant Terry called a press conference. The media thought police would announce yet another body. County, Pasco County. We have they were shocked by the arrest. How long have you had this suspect? Bobby Joe Long, and he's presently been charged with 10 homicides that have occurred over the course of the past six months within Hillsborough County, Pasco County, and the city of Tampa. He was arrested without incident and has subsequently confessed to several of the homicides under investigation. Do you have evidence of all the homicides? Yes, sir. Open five. In the coming days, Hillsborough detectives learned they weren't the only ones tracking law. Task Force member Charles Troy, a Pasco County detective, stumbled upon the truth. He realized that Long fit the description of a man who had raped a Pasco woman months ago. Troy scoured Long's apartment for evidence. He found a photo album filled with photographs of nude women, including the rape victim. In jail, Long confessed and bragged about the crime. Detectives had also found clothing and jewelry from Long's other victims. 
It's a common quirk of serial killers to keep photos or other trophies of those they kill. Detectives soon realized that Long was the classified ad rapist, named for his M.O. He canvassed the classifieds for women selling beds and other furniture, and when they let him in, he brutally raped them. He had never been apprehended. Long may have raped more than 50 Florida women in the 1970s and 80s, some even during his murder spree. 